Good day, my friends. Here we are again in all the noise of my neighborhood talking about what it means to follow Jesus during these days. As Pastor Mike and I have been doing these teachings now over the last number of weeks, most days we've been talking about how we live out faithfully in these days of the pandemic. And yesterday, Pastor Mike gave a very helpful teaching on what is called quarantine fatigue. And if you haven't heard that, you should go to our website or to our Facebook and listen to it. It's very helpful because as soon as he said those words, quarantine for fatigue, I thought, boy, that's a real thing. I'm tired of this, aren't you? And I thought maybe sometimes we get tired of even talking about it. So I thought today, let's talk about something other than the pandemic. And so I turned to our daily text from today, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, where the Apostle Paul said these words, Run in such a way that you may win the prize. Run in such a way that you may win the prize. Paul is using an analogy of an athletic competition here. Now what Paul is not teaching about is run in such a way that you may win the prize of salvation. Because as we have often said, that we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. In what Jesus has already done, not what we do, our salvation comes from what has already been done through Christ. What Paul is talking about is now what do we do? Now that it's been done for us, what do we do? And he's comparing a particular aspect of following Jesus to running a race in an athletic competition. And the aspect he's talking about is sharing Jesus with others. Evangelism, outreach, mission. What is really for us as followers of Jesus our primary mission in life. What is called the Great Commission where Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations, disciples of Jesus of all nations, and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We have salvation. And salvation is not just for something way in the future. It's for now. And that gives us hope now in the midst of all that we're experiencing that we already have salvation. And how we live out that salvation in one way now is to share our faith, our lives of faith, to share Jesus with others. That is what Paul is teaching here. A couple of verses before that, he said these amazing words. He says, I've become all things to all people so that by all possible means, I might save some. Now you understand, he doesn't save people, but through him, through his work, God works to bring people to salvation. So while it is the case that the pandemic has changed a lot of things for us, it has not changed what are our primary missions in life, our primary purposes in life. And one of those, as followers of Jesus, is to share Jesus with others. So here's some advice I might give you today as far as getting your mind off of what we're going through so we don't have to think about it as much. And it's this. Focus on what is a primary mission for you. And today specifically, sharing Jesus with others, that they might be saved. So think about someone that you know, that you hope will come to trust in Jesus. Think of someone. And as you think of that person, begin right now to just pray briefly, wherever you're at, say, God, lead this person to faith in you. Lead this person to trust Jesus and be saved. And then as you pray, ask God what you could do to be part of that person coming to faith, to be part of the race in bringing that person to faith. And whatever you hear God saying, do it. Run that race. One way for us to cope in these days is to continue to run the race that God has for us. May this be a word of hope for you today.